And now you're sitting in what I think used to be Carmelo's locker, man. What, what's going through your mind? I mean, it's a blessing. I hope uh, his shooting, you know, comes off for me. You know, the 62 points that he had here. Um, hope I get that, you know, from him. I know you're a, a hard over height guy. Do you, do you think this team still has a chip on his shoulder? We all know you were picked last in that, and a lot of people aren't maybe giving you a lot of credit. And you're the highest remaining seed in this tournament. So what's your mentality coming in here? Uh, just to just to play our games and be aggressive. I mean, and stay together. You know, um, we still have one uh, one goal in mind, and that's to win a national championship. And I think everybody understands that, um, and everybody you know wants that. Because when you win, you know, everything, you know, solves itself. Um, and everybody, you know, gets love when you win. So I think that's our main focus right now. Marquise, you said that, you know, you have to be a tough New York guard to get on the best courts here. What were your favorite courts that you wanted to play on in the New York area? Playgrounds, whatnot. I mean, Rucker Park, for sure, um, is one of the toughest environments you could play in. Um, Dykeman Park, uh, Tri-State. You know, you name it. I mean, we have a West Fourth is a great park, and just growing up playing in those environments, you know, allowed me not to be afraid of anything. Because if you could survive and play on those type of courts, I mean, I feel like you could survive anywhere. You played a lot, a lot of great players in those courts. You didn't make it to this kind of stage. What, what did you learn about the difference between the, the players who do make it to Division One or the NBA or Europe or whatever, and the guys who don't? And, and what you? That's a really good question. Um, for the people that do, uh, they stay committed to the game, they stay focused, um, they keep basketball first. Um, and the players that don't, you know, get sidetracked uh, and, you know, unfocused on the things that don't matter the most. And, you know, for, for guys like me and Ish and Tyson, you know, we always kept basketball first. We always stood in the gym putting up shots. And I think that's why we're getting that, that success and that that um, spotlight that we deserve. You said after the Kentucky game you didn't want it to hit you because you still wanted to be hungry that you were going to play here. Still the same or is it hit you a little bit? No, nah, it's still the same. I mean, I still have that chip on my shoulder. You know, I just, I just want to win. I mean, winning is the main thing that I focus on. I mean, I do anything in my power to, to win. Um, it hit me, you know, after the season, you know, on, you know, everything. But, you know, I'm just trying to stay in the moment, try to stay focused.